everyone i am here with a video and this video is kind of an interesting one this is books that have interesting governments i'm doing this because it seems very fast it's based on a series i've read so i'm gonna get on with this first book that i'll be talking about is the land of story series by chris colfer this series is about two twins no yeah it's twins who um fall into a magical portal into this new world where it's kind of like a fairy tale world and I, and I really like these governments because though it's kind of like the cliche monarchies it's not just like the traditional fantasy where it's just like usually one a land that a monarch is ruling but there are like many lands that are schooled together and they're like trees and i find that really fascinating because it's usually for um fantasy worlds that have it's usually just one monarch and it's like around an monarch or dict monarch or dictator around an entire land but i enjoy this one because it's it kind of goes more political in the aspect that it does it doesn't really focus on more of the war aspect but more of the um like tree like the treaty aspect so, yeah the next one I'll be talking about is Three Dark Crowns, and I really enjoy this government because it's slightly twisted. Not, not because I enjoy it. It's just very interesting because this, uh, this, this is about, um, I mean, the plot kind of goes into the government, but it's about, the government is an island. It's a matriarch, <laughs> matriarch, and, um, there is a queen who rules, but that queen is determined by, um, the previous queen who births triplets and those triplets have each like a magical power and they grow up grow up in a different land and, and when they get to their age they have to kill each other to get the crown it's a very fascinating and twisted series about these three girls who um each have an interesting magical gift one with the ability to commune with nature two one that can control elements and three one that can ingest poisons and it's very interesting and twisted and i enjoy it because it's not so isolated because it's not like its own thing it's like it's part of our world as well it's just like yeah so, yeah i really enjoy this one um and yeah it's just a very interesting government the next one i don't know what i would call this one i really don't and uh size because this one has no i would call it an anarchy but i don't know if it's really an anarchy because everything's dictated by an ai but it's not a dictatorship because and by any means because the ai makes like very very calculative decisions for the good of mankind it's not like it doesn't have a personal opinion for anything so yeah, and it's very interesting because there is no government except this branch of, not government, but a branch of society that is tasked to, like, th okay, this world is a world where, this is a sci-fi book, and it's a world where there's no hunger, there's no, um, there's basically no death, there's no anything. So, but to keep the population under control, there are these beings called size who basically, um, who basically kill people to make the population under control. And there you follow two people, Citra and Rowan, who become apprentices for size ship. And you really just see, it's, it's not even a government because they really have no say in anything except, um like how they do it and it's definitely not a rep uh it's definitely the side government is not a democracy because no one really votes for it. um it's more like a side that chooses you to become an apprentice yeah i really enjoy this government because it is very interesting to see how an ai dictates everything and how it doesn't always have to be a very dark place for when an ai controls things the next i'll be talking about is very interesting because it's the first series I've really come across where there was an anarchy and now it's like, um, it's moral. It's, yeah, I'll, yeah, this is about, the Renegades is a series about, um, uh, basically superheroes. And then there was an age of anarchy, which was basically an age where superpower people, super people, superpowers had the power, but, um, they didn't, they only used it yeah there but there was they didn't control everything it was like an anarchy it was everyone for themselves 
and then it switches to present day where it's kind of more like it's kind of more like a absolute monarchy where they're the, the like the group ser superheroes that took o over by the bad guy now like run everything and they try to protect the city and yeah this is very interesting because it really dictates um like how the social class works since now that the superheroes are in tr control superheroes are seen as like really idolized figures um and really sought after um while uh the like the other pre time period is more like that superheroes were more feared so yeah and it's really interesting and it's really interesting to see how these like alpha superheroes like use their power and how, well, what what do what they think is best so yeah the next series which is the series that prompted this video is the mirror visitor series by Christelle davos and this is a series about there was an event that was caused called the rupture and that basically exploded the world and now there are different like floating things called arcs and each arc lives a family spirit and then there's a different type of magic so there's three books in the series that are translated in english it's originally in french so there's a winter's promise the missing clear de lune and the mem the memory of babel which is my recent book that i've just read and i love all of these they're so good but yeah. and the government is basically it's very very interesting because it's both a mix between a theocracy and like kind of like a dictatorship it's mostly like each arc is the the rule that um is like the thing the the most power comes from these family spirits like their say is everything they may have like under they have, may have people that kind of work for them for the government but they have no power compared to them so yeah and it's really it's really interesting because you see that um how the dynamic of the government for the different family spirits and the first one you follow ophelia who is a girl who lives on anima and she's kind of like a museum curator and she has the ability to read the past of objects with um the touch of her fingertip and she can travel through mirrors but she gets um sent off to an arranged marriage and she kind of sees the court politics this one it's it's very interesting because um for the because there's anima which is basically kind of like anima that arc it's kind of like the main person who is in uh, like the family spirit is her name is artemis but she only has really she doesn't really care about anima she only cares about the stars so she kind of employs people called the doyens the doyens doyens who basically run the government for her and yeah so that's very interesting but for the pool there's the family spirit frock who's very his sit like everyone tries for um to like get in his good graces because he's pout and is word he doesn't really have anything to do with the government there really is no government except all the times that he's just like he sent him to someone so yeah that's really interesting um missing a clear luna sequel this more, more one is set on the pole as well and that's really fascinating but the third one is set on babel babel which is kind of like it's really interesting this one my government is my favorite because it is really information focused it's like um an arc really really it's really focuses on information and the preservation of it but only the certain information so there's like the and there are even laws against using certain information and i find that really fascinating because it's really just um like they're because it's really trying to disclaim the past and more in the future but only in the certain future they want and there are two family spirits there with the twins there's helen and pollux who are basically um um yeah so there's but helen um for all the family spirits they have the kids who would like create the family alliance but for helen she can't do that because um well she can't so like all the people who don't have power like magical powers are called the god god children of helen while the people who do have them are the children of pollux so yeah i find these governments really really fascinating in this series because 
because it's she delves crystal davis delves in them so so much so yeah that is the video it was kind of short just because um there's not a lot of governments that i've seen that are as fascinating as these so thank you for watching and have a good day